before he became the great prophet, he dictated the terms of this contract during his visit to the monastery of St. Catherine. One, all Christians, and not just the monks of St. Catherine, are to be included in this contract. Two, Christians are to be viewed as part of Mount Ummah, meaning community. Three, I am personally responsible for them and will offer them my protection until the end of days. Four, they are to be judged by Christian law. Five, the monks are not to be charged tax because they are charitable and spiritual people. Six, they are to be granted political autonomy, which is the right to independent rule. Seven, they are to be granted freedom of any travel restrictions. Eight, they are free to build their own churches, and in doing so, Muslims should help maintain them. Nine, Muslims should provide for them, be kind to them, and in the act of war, defend them. Ten, this monks are to be excluded from military service. And eleven, this is a promise of the Prophet to the Christians, and none of his nation shall act contrary to this until the end of days. Muhammad then placed his entire handprint onto the contract, not because he was illiterate and did not know how to sign, but only because he wanted to indicate that each of his five fingers represent a member of his household. These included Muhammad himself, his close brother Ali, his daughter Fatima, and his two grandsons Hassan and Hussein. This became a promise of not only the Prophet, but also by the members of his household called the Ahlul Bayt. It became known as the Akhtaname of Muhammad. <laughs>